So hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So finally, you guys all asked for it. What I have here is the 2024 JC GST M Zoom GS model. Yes, this is the base variant of the M Zoom lineup here in the Philippines. So as well, I already toured already the entire lineup. So the R style and the GB variant. So I'd like to thank everyone here at GAC Motor Alabang for making this review possible as well to Miss Rose and to Miss Chrissy. And rest of the sales agents contact details will be in the description down below. So with this, what GST M Zoom base model it looks exactly the same like with the gb model but there's just only one major difference in the exterior i'll get to that in a bit so here in the front fascia it looks exactly the same like with the gb van this part's gray here and a lot of gloss black trims here down below ground clearance remains the same at 180 millimeters and two you get 18 inch wheels all around and my favorite part with the entire m zoom lineup you get triple indicator lights here on the side mirrors and two what's nice with this base model you get led lights all around even up to the tail lights so here in the side profile exactly the same too and what i like with this base model you get aston martin style door handles still and two at the rear exactly the same too apart from again the oblivious exhaust tips yet again so one major difference only for this base model you don't get a reverse camera anymore bummer but just just one thing only so the boot space is exactly the same too at 341 liters and when you fold all of the seats down it maximizes at 1271 liters so as well too there's a space saver donut type tire underneath and powering this gst m zoom it actually says in my script GS4. Whoops. So it's exactly like the same with every other M zoom, but I will still show you anyways. It's so hot. Ow. So carrying this GST M zoom base model is still a one and a half liter turbocharged four cylinder engine that produces 174 horsepower and 270 newton meters of torque. And again, this one is mated to a seven speed wet type dual clutch transmission. Let's talk about now in the interior where there are a lot lot more changes so here now in the interior of this m zoom base model start it up since it's quite hot biggest eye-catching difference now for this base model a little bit refreshing for me that you have analog setup here for your tachometer and speedometer so here in the door card exactly the same like with the gb variant so you get the tan leather and then the soft pads yet again for your elbow. <laughs> Here in your steering wheel now too, it's polyurethane but still nice to the touch I must say. And then you have your cruise control functions on the left side and your volume and phone connectivity buttons on the right side. So actually no later during the test drive if you can touch anything here in the middle of the instrument cluster. But it's still good to know you have your TPMS display right there. So I was expecting for a base model that they will remove that feature. But what has not been taken away from this base model is the 10.25 inch infotainment system with Apple CarPlay still very good on that JAC Hi. <laughs> so I was about to say reverse camera quality but I forgot there is no feature of that at all but thank god everything here is somewhat the same but this time you get manual air conditioning control so adjusting them this one's a very different layout now like with the gb brand you get three driving modes only eco comfort and sport so as well being only the base mode there are a lot of features that have been removed safety features rather but at least you still have auto hold and electronic stability control program for your driver assist only at least they just left some of the important bits only going back with the air conditioning system there's a little bit of a delay there, if you heard, I'm adjusting it like to level 1, then it moves. So, okay, watch this. This is level 1 fan speed, then I'll jump to 5. Look how long it takes to respond. 5. So, it takes a like, couple of seconds before it gets to the desired fan speed. Below the infotainment system, you still have your air conditioning vents along with your air conditioning controls yet again. Engine starts up button here on the right. And then dashboard. Okay, surprisingly, this one is still, what, squeegee material and the leather, tan leather here again on the right side of the passenger seat. And then glove box. Okay, pretty good still. And then below the air conditioning controls, you don't have a wireless charging pad now, but at least you still have the cubby spaces to fit two phones at least and your script. And then here in the center console itself, you have two cup holders. Yet again, your toggle gear lever, electronic parking brake. And then for the behind, a cubby space for your phone. And center console box, a place for charging your key. Decent amount of space. 
And to what I like with this base model yet again, below the center console itself, you have your USB port and a 12 volt socket along again with a cubby space for putting more items. And biggest change here too in the interior of this M Zoom base model are the seats here. There's some parts that are now fabric, but at least for your bolstering here, these are still leather, but actually still comfortable here to sit in. Everything here now is manually adjusted for reclining the seats, the height adjustment, and what not everything else so too this only has two speakers all on but at least it's still the dts sound system but they're only present here in front so speaking of here the rear seats exactly the same material fabric mixed with leather yet again and like what i praised throughout the m zoom lineup is the space so remember this base model does not have a sunroof yet again like with the gb but remember yet again the one i've driven was a prototype version from china so again take note of that so space there in the back pit room knee room and head room is excellent throughout and then sitting in the middle yet again there is no transmission tunnel whatsoever but this time now there's no central armrest in the middle seat and no more air conditioning vent here too in the center it's now a cubby space only and there's no usb port too sadly but at least you still have map pockets on either side you have the triple layout yet again behind this driver seat too so the rear door cards exactly the same here like the ones in front the tan leather and with the black soft pads yet again so yeah that's a quick walkthrough of this interior so why not let's go for a drive so driving this final M zoom base model all right what to say it's exactly the same performance like with the rest of the M zoom lineup and then here sport mode a little bit delay when you pull the throttle but once you get going you get really going Wow. And then body lean. Surprisingly, not that much. Actually, drives as good like with the rest of the M Zoom lineup. And brakes are pretty strong too. So, one thing to take note now too with this base model compared with the rest of the M Zoom lineup. This one is the lightest one of the entire lineup too. So this one stands at 1,310 kilograms. So this one is 45 kilograms lighter than the R-Style variant. So actually, to be honest, I can feel the weight difference when you drive the R-Style and this one back to back. So driving dynamics feels exactly the same like with what? Rest of the... M zoom lineup but a little bit more comparable with the GB van because yet again this does not have the body kit the exhaust and some of the driving modes like sport plus over here and yet again my biggest nitpick with the entire M zoom lineup there's no paddle shifters but then again I don't see the need for it to be honest because the gearing is pretty good too so if you put it to S it tends on to hold the gears for a bit longer but if you just leave it in D okay just gear hands ever so slightly but it's not so bad yet again so here now around 40 50 kilometers per hour okay there's some tire noise but it's not as loud i gotta say comparing only with the r style because those were running on michelin's and 19 inch wheels so equal will be just slightly delayed i'm throwing it now okay yeah just a little bit delay but not again not so bad i'll just leave it in sport mode for obvious reasons and then oh well, actually okay put you back to eco mode here 40 50 kilometers per hour Okay, soaks up the bumps pretty well. So here, metal sheets on the road, rough pavement. Okay, soaks up the bumps pretty well. Yes, the suspension is a little bit firm, but it's no means an uncomfortable car. Eco mode, yeah, it will tend to gear on and it's a little bit slower to react amongst the other driving modes. But I'll just leave it in comfort mode since that's the best driving mode. But of course, sport mode, I'm a bit spoiled with performance. So I'll just leave it there too. So here now, new turn test. Okay, the turning radius is pretty tight actually, so not so bad too. And then off the line. Ah. Right, what else to say with this base model? I mean, it's a complete car for me. It's still some of the features left from the GB variant and auto hold and everything else. Pretty complete too. So what I like too now with this base model, since it's a bit lighter on its feet too, the fuel economy kind of improved from the rest of the lineup so this one's been averaging now 9 liters per 100 kilometers so that's like 11 kilometers per liter just here around in the city and me just hooning it around Whee! 
<laughs> right, so biggest trump card now too with this M Zoom base model now. This one cost 998,000 pesos, so just below the 1 million peso mark. And what the, I cannot complain what you get here in this base model because yet again, as I said, it's a pretty complete car already. So yeah, that concludes my trilogies of the M Zoom variant. So I highly recommend this base model, but of course, if you got the extra, go for the R Star variant. So yeah, that concludes my review of this M Zoom GS base model. So I'd like to thank everyone here at GAC Motor Alabang. So they'll be transferring a, to a new showroom somewhere there in beside the former Kia showroom beside Mercedes Benz. So along with their service center too. So I'll just put the complete address in the description down below. So I'd like to thank everyone here again to Miss Rose, to Miss Chrissy for making this review possible, and to my annoying little sister here behind the camera. Little. Too. <laughs> I'm so, the older one. <laughs> <laughs> so hope you guys like and subscribe and I will see you with more future car views and hopefully more GACs too on my channel. Bye-bye.